my dear buddies today i am on a mission a mission to check can we tour in an electric car now touring doesn't mean a thousand kilometer touring but can we at least get from our city to neighboring cities like from hyderabad can i get to warangal and can i go to karimnagar nearby cities which are about 150 or 180 kilometers away and drive back without trying to charge the car in that city so this would simulate a business trip where i'm going from hyderabad to a neighboring city being there for about one hour and driving back because today with the current fuel prices and with the environmental concerns we need an electric car and we need it to have a range at least to do what i'm doing today and this car is not even at 100% charge right now. It is at 88% charge. Why am I not taking uh, the car when uh, the battery is at 100% charge? Because most of the time, we might not have the car at 100% charge. Because even when we fast charge the car, the fast charger only takes the car up to 80% uh, charge. And after that, the fast charging slows down. So I'm trying to simulate that. The company MG claims that the car can do 419 kilometers on a full charge. But in real world conditions, we know that is going to be much lesser for any brand. So can I go to Warangal and come back, which would be about 320 kilometers without trying to charge the car there? And remember, while I'll be driving back, the headlights would be on because it would be uh, in the night and the battery consumption would go much higher so this is a very critical test and i will keep you updated when i'm driving so buddies it is 11:46 a.m on a sunday in hyderabad and the battery percentage in this mg electric car shows 88 percent and the range shows 280 kilometers and i have to do 320 kilometers buddies so we have covered 10.5 kilometers and here the charge left is 85 percent we are not using air conditioning and the lady who is shooting my video is cursing me it is hot inside the car <laughs> but it is uh the month of august so it is not very hot in hyderabad i can roll down the windows and i get cool breeze and uh, the thing about electric cars is that on the highway uh, the range goes down and in the city the range increases you know why because in city whenever we let the throttle go and if we have the kinetic energy uh, regeneration recovery system whatever it is called KERS if we have it set to 3 where uh, every time the car is slowing down or we are braking the car is actually charging so right now so right now here it shows that I'm getting 7.2 to 7.3 kilometers for every kilowatt of energy consumed. So that is excellent, you know. But when I get onto the highway, this thing is going to go down. I'll probably get 5.9 kilometers for every uh, kilowatt consumed. So that is going to be a bigger challenge. Buddies, so we have hit the highway now, Hyderabad Warangal Highway, and so far the efficiency has been amazing. 9.6 kilometers for every kilowatt consumed, and we have done 21.8 kilometers, and the battery is still at 84 percent. So now I'm going to do two things. One, put up the windows turn the air conditioning on all right Welcome to 
Warangal. No, no. We still did not reach Warangal. We did not reach Warangal. We are kind of at the outskirts of Warangal. Long way to go. Pollution, emissions. This is what we don't want. This is why we are driving an electric car. So finally, <laughs> we have reached Hanmakonda. So Hanmakonda is a, a, a nearby city to Warangal. I mean, very near, probably six, seven kilometers more and we will be in Warangal. So this is Hanmakonda and we are at 59% battery. The AC is off right now and the range we still have is 164 kilometers. But, well, I can't feel very happy about this yet because once I start my journey back to Hyderabad, I would be having the headlights on. That means the power consumption would go up much higher. So let's see what happens. I'll keep you posted. Buddies, another fun fact. You got to know this. That is, in an electric car, you almost don't need to touch the brake pedal. When I've been driving from Hyderabad all the way to Hanmakonda in this MG electric car, on the highway, I almost never touched the brake pedal. And even in city traffic, I rarely touch the brake pedal. That is because of the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, KERS. What it does is the moment you let your foot go off the throttle pedal, it slows the car down rapidly and also generates electricity through kinetic energy so i mean you're saving your brake pads probably in electric vehicles brake pads can last for a hundred thousand kilometers buddies so you finally see me without sunglasses because i've parked the mg electric car and i've reached my destination in warangal ah I'm sweating because, uh, you know, in the last 10 kilometers, I did not put the AC on at all. And in the last 10 kilometers, I had to negotiate a lot of lanes and all of that, you know, tight lanes here in uh, Warangal. So let me show the screen to you right now. Okay. It says 50%. <laughs> you know what? In the last 10 kilometers, I lost about 7, 8%. I don't know. It was strange. Uh, probably uh, because of... Uh, the driving style I had to do in uh, really, really tight lanes and all of that. There are some children talking here. Please excuse that. Okay. And uh, let me see this. Here. We would see the statistics. Okay. Righty. Thank you. But. Okay. Statistics are current journey 145.5 kilometers. Now this would be 150. The mistake is that uh, I did not reset the trip meter immediately after leaving home. So it would be 150 and uh, it took three hours because I was not driving more than 80 kilometers an hour and uh, the average speed is 46 kilometers an hour and uh, uh, I got 9.2 kilometers for every kilowatt consumed, which is pretty good. And now I shouldn't be happy that I have a 50% left because in the, in the night when I would be driving back, I would be having the headlights on. So that would consume considerable power. Let's see what happens. My dear buddies, so it is 6 p.m. And I am at the Thousand Pillar Temple. Bye bye Warangal. 50% charge left. Range 155. This is without AC, without headlights on. Bye bye, Thousand Pillar Temple. 155 is the range that is showing. 
on the display and I have to actually go 150 kilometers to Hyderabad. Wow! This is like a cricket match where last over you have 10 runs to go. <laughs> Hyderabad 5 hours, sorry, <laughs> 3 hours, 5 minutes, 149 kilometers. Estimated time of arrival 9.34 p.m. Buddies, it is starting to rain now. Damn, <laughs> I would have to use the wipers. More power consumption. Not a good thing, not a good thing. Buddies, I hope this looks like a horror movie because this is scary. We are on a highway, it is dark outside. We are far away from Hyderabad, about 80 plus kilometers and look at the battery here 30 percent and 97 kilometers is the range it shows and we have about 80 to 83 kilometers to go i mean i hope what is showing here on the range 97 that is true because you know right generally batteries uh, after they are down to about 30 percent they discharge much faster and right now i got a warning saying that battery is low please charge i mean when you see this kind of a warning on your cell phone it is scary enough and if you see it when you're driving an electric vehicle on a highway with your lady it is a horror movie wow nine percent left it shows 31 kilometers but I don't want to depend on that figure. I mean, it has been consistent, it has been good, but I have about 10 odd kilometers to go now. I am very close to my destination, but I don't want a situation where it is uh, like so close yet so far. <laughs> I've been getting warnings, battery low, battery low, battery low, you know, very often. So, all right. Buddies, I look so tired. That is not because the car is not comfortable. The car is amazingly comfortable, but it is just that I was not using air conditioning at least for the last, uh, you know, 100 plus kilometers. So because the windows were low and it was humid, it was uh, raining. So my, my face looks like this, oily and tired. <laughs> uh, and I have reached Sikandrabad. That is you know Hyderabad and uh, mission accomplished here the battery percentage is 7% and 25 kilometers more range to go Wow now if uh, the battery in the morning would have been 100% charged then it wouldn't have been any issue at all so I've done um, slightly more than 300 kilometers so what I will do is after I stop and park the car I'll make another video tomorrow explaining uh, how I did all of this. Alright, thank you.